Stepping out for a state budget, Labor hopes will get more South Australians stepping in to their own home. There is no bigger cost to a South Australian household than the cost of putting a roof over your head. The budget will reduce that cost by slashing stamp duty for some first home buyers, but it only applies to new builds under $650,000 or land purchases under $400,000. The measure will cost almost $130 million over four years and people buying existing homes will miss out. The purchase price of the property goes up by a similar amount of money and the person who benefits out of this doesn't end up being the first home buyer, it's the person selling the home. There's also a new type of loan available for first home buyers through government lender Homestart that only requires a 2% deposit. The first homeowners grant will also remain and the cap will go up to homes valued at 650000 Even though it does help provide incentives to build more housing, it's going to be for a very select part of the population. It's going to be in a very select area of the state and I'm not sure how much it's going to help people who are looking to buy in Adelaide. By far, the biggest new spend is in health, with demand for public health services surging by more than 4% a year. The government is spending $1.2 billion just to keep up and another half a billion dollars to address the ongoing impact of COVID. All up, the health budget is growing by more than $2 billion. But will the measures fix ramping? We said it would take four years. We're 15 months in. We know that we've still got... Uh, part of that journey to go and we're committed uh, to seeing out that journey. The cost of some health projects has also blown out. A plan to improve and build new ambulance stations will now cost $20 million more than expected, while an extra $100 million will be required for the Mount Barker Hospital upgrade. The government isn't making broad cuts to departments, but more executives will have to go. 50 this budget on top of the 50 cut last year, saving $35 million across the forward estimates. That's not enough to stop the budget staying in the red. It'll be another year before the state returns to surplus. With big projects like the Women's and Children's Hospital ahead, debt continues to grow to record levels, hitting $37.5 billion within four years. I cannot see how the trajectory of this budget can continue across the forward estimates without government departments being made to cut their cloth accordingly. But the government says the debt forecast now is lower than it was under its Liberal predecessors. Leah McLennan, ABC News, Adelaide.